<laughs> All right, well, we are going to make our way on to the back. And take those first couple moments and just start coming into your breath. Starting to allow inhales and exhales to lengthen. Yeah, yeah. Letting that breath slow. And then eventually start making its way in and out through just the nose. Then that next breath, as you inhale, you're drawing the right knee up and in, pulling it away from the rib cage and towards the shoulder in a winter moving posture. Then that fifth breath, the right foot's extending all the way up towards the ceiling. Maybe you have a slight bend in the knee. Maybe the leg is ready to be straight, which is starting to bring some length into that hamstring. Maybe you roll out the ankle. Then your fifth breath, as you inhale, you're going to draw the nose up towards the knee. In that next breath, you're going to release back down towards the mat. You're going to let the arms come out into a T, and then the left leg comes to meet the right leg. You're going to flex both feet, and then as you exhale, starting to slowly lower the heels towards the mat. Inhale the lift, and we're going to move through four more of those. So as you exhale, heels lower. Inhaling the lift. Releasing for three. Four. And five. After that fifth one, you're gonna draw both knees into the chest. Take a quick moment to rock side to side. And then switch that grip on over towards the left leg as the right leg comes out. Starting to find that wind removing pose on the opposite side. And in that next breath, the left foot extends towards the ceiling. Maybe you've got a bend in the knee, maybe you're rolling out the ankle, just again starting to move into that leg. And in your fifth breath, the nose comes up to find the knee. And then as you're ready, we're gonna release back down towards the mat. This time, arms come up overhead. Right leg meets the left. And then as you exhale, the left leg starts to lower. Inhale, it comes up. And then the right leg lowers. And we're gonna move through five more of these guys. So lowering for two. Three. Four. And then last one, five. After that fifth breath, we're gonna draw the knees into the chest. Take a quick second to rock side to side. Arms are coming back out with one more T. And then as you exhale, the knees drop towards the right. And there's some fun twists. Inhaling up through center, and then exhaling on over towards the opposite side, towards your left. And then as you're ready, we're coming back towards center. 
drawing the knees in, and then you're gonna rock and roll up and down the weight of the spine into your tabletop. And then from tabletop, just starting to move through your cat and your cow or any other free form movement that you may need here. And in that next breath, we're going to take the right leg up. We're just bringing it straight out behind you. Nice. You're going to bend that knee. Nice. And then we're going to do five donkey kicks. As you inhale, the leg lifts. And then bring it back down. Nice. Two, three, four, and then five. After that fifth one, we've still got the leg up high. We're going to take the left hand and see if you can't reach back and grab that foot. Nice. And now as you exhale, we're going to release the right foot, stepping it to the outside of the right hand. That back knee is grounded so you can pull forward through this right knee and get a slightly deeper stretch in the inner thigh. And as you exhale, you're going to kick back into your half Hanuman. What? Your half splits. And then from here, we're rocking back forward. We're going to get the foot to the inside of both hands. Really press through both hands. You're going to plug in the left back toes and then step back into a plank. And you've got five breaths here. And at the bottom of your next exhale, you're going to come down onto the forearms into a low plank. With that fifth breath, you're going to move back to your tabletop. So the knees drop. Maybe you pass through a child's pose. Maybe you move through a couple cat and cow. And in that next breath, we're going to get onto the left side. So the left leg comes straight out, starting first just by balancing that leg in space. Starting to engage the low core. In that next breath, we're going to bend the knee and we're going to move through those five donkey kicks. So the leg lifts. Nice. Two, three, four, and then five. And that fifth one, we're going to keep that leg up and see if you can't grab the left foot with the right hand. Nice. In your fifth breath, we're going to take the left foot to the outside of the left hand so that you're in that lizard. Once again, with the back knee down, you can pull forward through this left knee and get a much deeper stretch in the inner thighs. And then as you exhale, we're taking it right back to that half split. From here, we're rocking back forward, and we've got our little plank time. So the hands are going to plant. The back right toes go ahead and plug back in. The left foot's going back there, and you've got five breaths in your high plank. And on that exhale, we're going to start to move through our first vinyasa, so chaturanga. Up dog cobra, taking it back to your down dog. 
You've got five breaths here. And in that fifth breath, we're making our way back towards the top of the mat, walking or stepping, hopping, whatever. Your favorite method. Inhaling is that flat back. Exhaling into your fold. Maybe you let the head dangle heavy. Maybe you go ahead and bind. We're going to spend just a couple breaths here. And as you, with your next breath, you're going to bend the knees, drop the hips. Inhale, arms come up as you find your chair. Next breath, hands come into heart center. We're going to take the left elbow to the outside of the right foot. You're going to really press through that bottom elbow to get your twist nice and deep. That next breath, we're going back towards center. We're going to take it to the opposite leg. So right goes to left. And then as you're ready, we're going back towards center. You're going to go ahead and fold down. Inhale into your flat back. And as you exhale, move through your chosen chaturanga. So maybe you add extra push-ups. Maybe you skip it. But we'll all meet back in down dog. And from here, the right leg lifts. Maybe you roll it around in space. Maybe you bend that top knee, whatever's working for you this morning. And then as you're ready, we're gonna step the foot in between the hands. The back heel drops in towards the center line of the body and we're gonna find our warrior two. Warrior two, you're going to reverse into your peaceful. Then from peaceful, we're coming back out to warrior two. We're going to straighten the front knee, pivot the toes in. Inhale for some length. Exhale to fold into your favorite expression of wide leg forward fold. And as you're ready, we're going to inhale back up. The arms will come back out wide, and you're going to revisit that warrior two. But as soon as you sink into it, you're going to pull through the fingertips, hinging on over and let the right hand come to the inside of that foot, if possible, into an extended variation of your side angle. And from that side angle, your hand is grounded. You're just going to step this right foot back to find your side plank. We're going to try to stack the feet, not get too fancy with it, because we're going to do some side plank rolls. So as you're ready, we're going to come through center, and then open out to the other side. We're going to do that four more times. So back towards center, open out, center, Open, that's three, four, and last one. Opening out to one side for five. Get to the other side. And then you're gonna move through your chaturanga, or your vinyasa. The chaturanga, finding your up dog or cobra. Taking it back to down dog. And then the left leg lifts. 
doing whatever you need to wake up that hip. Some leg circles, ankle circles, maybe you bend the top knee. So we're gonna find that warrior two. The left foot's coming into step. The heel's pivoting. Arms come wide. Then as you exhale, dropping on back into that peaceful. Coming back out wide, we're going to straighten the front, or pivot the front toes in. Inhale, early. Take another variation of your wide leg forward fold. Again, give you choice. We'll build on this sequence one more time. We'll throw in crow the next time. And then when you come back up, we're gonna first find our warrior twos to let it take you down into your extended side angle. And then from here, we're going to transition back to that side plank. Next, and then we got those five rolls. So starting one, two, three. Four, and then last one, five. When you make your way back through center, you're going to move through your vinyasa. And then take it back to that down dog. With that next breath, you're just going to take the left hand and reach back towards that right leg. See if you can't pull on it to pull the torso underneath the right shoulder. And then we're going to switch it. So left hand comes back front, right hand reaches to the left. And comes back forward. So from here, your right leg lifts. You're going to follow it on over into a flipped dog or a wild thing. Grab a breath here. We're going to come back up. Right foot reaches, comes down. Left foot up. You're going to follow that one on over. Grab a breath here. And then we're gonna come back to center. Left leg lifts, sets down. We're gonna do one more of those. So one more little roll in our flip dog. So right leg, flip it, find your breath. Come back up. We're gonna switch sides. Left leg comes up. We're gonna flip. Find our breath. Come back up. And then find our down dogs. Now we're going to start to build on our flow on the right side. So right leg lifts. Steps in between the hands. We're going to come up and find a warrior one. Opening out into your warrior two. Drop 
coming back into your reverse. We're going to come out wide, straighten the front knee, let both feet pivot in. We're going to bring both hands towards the mat. If you have a crow or a tripod headstand that you like to take, feel free to grab those now. If you'd rather hang out in a wide leg forward fold or find some ninja lunges, we've got about 10 breaths here to see if people their time to play. And then when you're ready, we're just going to come back to wide-legged forward fold so that we don't make our sides all crazy. We're going to go ahead and pivot the right toes forward and then come back up into your warrior two. From that warrior two, we're moving into your side angle. So from here, you have opportunity to play it again. This top hand can start to rotate. Laying the back of the palm into the sacrum, finding a half bind. You might find that you're able to reach this right bar arm up and through and get a full bind in your side angle. Or you might go exactly where Marsh is going. Coming up here and to your bird. Nice to feel it. And once you feel like you've gotten your play in your bird, we're going to go ahead and move through your vinyasa. <laughs> the left leg is going to start to lift. We're going to let it step in between the hands. The back heel pivots in as we find that warrior one. Then we're going to open to your warrior two. Dropping back into your peaceful. We're going to come back forward and wide. And you've got another couple breaths to play. Grow, tripod, any sort of wiggle works for you here. Maybe you do the same thing you did last time. Maybe you're trying something new. Maybe you pet a dog or grab some water instead. Hey, Katie. Yeah. It's getting kind of hot. Would you mind turning the fans on? Perfect. <laughs> I just think it could feel like a real yoga class. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I got my fan on turbo high. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think I even have my conditioning on yet. I think I'm going to need it soon. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. So from our wide legged, we're finding our extended side angles. And you've got space to play here again. So you might find that half bind. You might find the whole bind. You might find the bird. Or you might get the ultimate distraction.
And then whenever you're done playing, out of the yasa to move through. And we'll take it back to a child's. You're going to thread that right arm underneath the left. The right palm will face up down, whatever feels best for you. And I noticed that most of you guys have binds. So you're going to go ahead and take that left hand up and let the back of the palm sit on your sacrum here. You have a slightly different variation of the needle. In that next breath, we're going to bring both arms forward. And then we're going to switch that. So the left arm comes up, threads underneath the right, and then you're taking the right arm into your half bind. From our half binds, we're coming back forward. You're going to grab the fingers, interlacing them with the pointer finger extended. <clears throat> really far through those fingers so that the arms are connected to the ears. Engage the core and see if you can't come up, keeping the arms connected to the ears the whole time. And bonus if you can keep the glutes connected to the heels. Nice. As you exhale, you're going to twist towards the right. So left hand finds the right thigh. Left hand might be able to ground on the mat behind you or grab somewhere behind you. Inhaling back up and exhaling on over to the other side. And then from here, roll out into a tabletop. Do a couple back now. And then from here, those toes tuck, and you're headed back to your down dog. So one more time, we're going to take this left leg or the right leg up. We're going to let it step in between the hands. We're going to keep the back heel lifted this time as you find your crescent warrior. And you want to see light in this, these knees because we're going to do 10 pulses. So as you exhale, that knee taps the mat. Inhale to stand. Nice. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nice, and ten. Now for that tenth one, four or two. <laughs> We're going to triangle, so that front knee's gonna straighten. I Personally, I like to hop my back leg forward just a little bit. Right foot's forward, opening into that triangle. So from triangle, we're gonna take this left hand and set it on the mat a little bit in front of and diagonal to the, left, the, left, the right toes. And you're going to pop up into a revolved half move. Now, we already played with this earlier, so you might see if you can't bend that knee, the left foot, and grab it with the right hand from your from standing.
Whenever you're done playing here, you're going to let both feet come towards the mat. Inhaling into your flat back and exhaling into your fold of choice. So with that next breath, the knees bend, the hips drop. Inhaling back up into your chair. Nice. And when you're ready, you're see if you can't step that right foot back to go ahead and find your crescent on the left. Nice. We've got those 10 little pulses. So as you're ready, the right knee taps. Inhale up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And from ten, we're coming up using warrior two to help us get into the triangle. So left foot's forward. I thought I saw the cat run into the room with the new chickens. I was like, that's not good. Okay, from our triangle, we're moving into that revolved half moon. So the right hand comes down to the mat, in front of and diagonal to the left foot, and you just pop up. You might stay here. You might bend and reach. If you get that foot and you really feel challenging your balance today, you can remove the right hand from the mat. And whenever you're done playing here, we're going to release that right foot towards the mat. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale as you pull towards your mat. Inhaling to halfway lift. And exhaling as we move through a vinyasa. And then after this vinyasa, we're going to meet with legs extended out front. Milo, Milo. Uh -uh. Then as you inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale, you're folding towards <laughs> Inhale, you're going to make your way back up. We're going to bring both of the feet in together so that you're finding your Baddha Konasana. Inhaling for some length. Pull <laughs> forward the flat back. Inhaling back up. We're going to move through a little bit of core really quickly. So we're going to play with some, uh, a little kind of like the boat thing that we played with in class before. Peace fingers are going to grab on those big toes. You're going to rock back and start to find your hover. Once you're hover, you're going to see if you can extend. We're going to hold for five breaths. The more you pull your chest forward, the easier it is going to be to balance. And then with that next exhale, you're going to rock back, tap the toes, grab a few breaths here, and then rock back forward and try to catch yourself back in that hover. We're going to bring the heels together. You're not quite done yet. And then you're going to release and you're in your full variation of both. 
Oh, wait, I can't see your legs. My legs? Let's see. Okay. So once you're here, yeah. bring the legs back together. Okay. And then release. And after you've got your last couple breaths in, we're gonna make our way all the way onto the back. And then from here, let's see. Oh no, we've got time. Cool. So from here, the feet are gonna plant onto the mat. Palms are coming down by the side, pressed into the mat. Inhaling at the bottom and exhaling as you lift the hips. Once on your lift, you're going to kind of grip your mat with your fingertips. The left foot might step more towards center as you take the right leg up. Okay. After your fifth breath, we're going to ground the right leg. It might shift towards center. We get that left leg up for five breaths. And then when you're ready, we're going to release all the way down. Draw both knees into the chest. Just to rock side to side here. And then when you're ready, when the back is ironed out, we're going to take the hands to the back of the head. The knees are still up, and we're going to move through 10 on each side for 20 total, depending on how you like to count them, um, butter or bicycle crunches. So left elbow comes to right knee as the left leg goes long. Two, two, three. And we're going to let you count. Three, four. You're probably about halfway done. But would you stop? And after you've gotten them all in, you're going to draw those knees into the back one more time. Take a second to rock side to side once again, just releasing anything in the low back. And then as you're ready, we're going to start to move into back bending. <coughs> I'm going to cue a wheel since we've just played around with bridges. If you would prefer to do something different, please feel free to we're going with eight of our own breaths. So for wheel, heels are closing in a line with them. Palms are up near the ears with fingertips pointed back towards the shoulders. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale as you press through hands and feet to lift. And again, you've got eight of your own breaths here. And then after you've got your eight breaths, taking your counter pose of choice. So you might like draw the knees in, you might like happy baby, you might like something else, whatever's working for you. <coughs> and with that next, with those next couple of breaths, next, we're gonna start to play with all inversions. Obviously, this is another place where everyone's working different things. I know we've got headstands, handstands, forearm stands, shoulder stands, and legs up that have all I've seen every single one of you play around with. So we've got about 10 breaths. 
for whatever you want to do with your inversion. I will cue how to get into a headstand from a basket hold. Um, this is also a great place to start building strength in the shoulders if you are working towards bigger inversions. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you want to play around with starting to move into that basket hold, you just start in your tabletop, you come on down to the forearms, and I rotate them in to grab my arms. From here, <coughs> my elbows grow roots, they don't move again. My hands will swing back with me, and the fingers interlace. And then from there, you just kind of situate the crown of your head into your hands, and walk forward. You will start to feel the weight transfer. You will also feel it want to go into your head. When you feel all the weight transfer into your head, you bear down through those elbows to re-engage the shoulders. This is going to help you protect the neck as you eventually start going up. Nice, I see lots of feet. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And whenever you are finished playing with those inversions, once again, start to make your way back to the back. <coughs> Move through any sort of freeform movements or anything else that you might need to release any tension or anything that came up in the spine. And then from here, we'll ground this left foot, <coughs> figure four, and then draw both knees up and in. You might stay here. You might clasp behind the left thigh, bringing the knees in a little bit more, or you might extend that left foot, adjust the grip, and get your hamstrings while you're in this reclined pigeon. And then from here, you're going to bend that knee. You're going to take the hands back, back to the head, and your last little bit of core here. We've got five pigeon crunches. So as you inhale, the elbows are going to meet the knees. Exhaling to release. Two, three, four, and five. From here, arms release out into a T, and the knees release towards the left. This right knee might stay up towards the ceiling. You might draw it into the body, whatever you feel like is creating a better stretch for you today. Center, we're going to switch those sides. The right foot grounds, left ankle figure fours. You're drawing up and in. You might stop here. You might clasp behind the right thigh and stop there. You might take that right foot up and make your way somewhere up the leg. And as you're ready, we're bending that knee, letting the hands come back to the head. Your last five crunches, the elbows to the knees. 
releasing. Two, three, four, and five. And after that fifth breath, the right foot grounds and both sets the knees fall over towards the right. <laughs> and after that next breath, the knees are coming towards center. We're drawing both knees into the chest. And then from here, we're going to start to move full circle to where we started. So the right knee draws in towards the shoulder. Five and we're moving pose. If you still have energy to burn, you're going to let that left heel hover. Damn. Quit. Quit. We're switch sides. So moving into your left. <coughs> From here, we're going to start to take both feet in together, moving in. <coughs> Reclined butterfly. You're going to bring the arms down by the side with the palms pressed into the mat and then start sliding the arms back so that you're propped up on your elbows, still with your butterfly legs. From here, you're going to roll the elbows in together just a little bit. This is going to cause the shoulders to open up into more of a heart opener. And then as you exhale, you're going to start to drop the head back, moving into your fist. <laughs> And then when you're ready, coming back out of that fish, you're making your way long. We're going to take both arms up overhead. <coughs> your pointer finger extended, really reaching from finger to toes. And then you're just going to take the fingertips to the top right corner of your mat. You're going to go as far over as you can without the shoulders moving. We're not going to take the feet down at the bottom this time, which you'll find that you can have more lean operating one end of the body. We're going to come back towards the center. Reach, go real long, and then start to go as far over to the left as you can. When you're ready, we're coming back towards center. We're going to draw those knees up and in, starting to find any last movements that you need to to round out your practice. <coughs> and then as you're ready, starting to find your way on your back with the legs out long. We're going to move towards that final Shavasana.